Bam. That's what get that's what doing a plan gets you. That lighting effect. What is Murr? Murr has turned the microphone on. Hey, hot stuff. Nice tiny uh, bikini. Oh, except she's a human tra traffic victim. Uh, now I'm less happy that I just ogled her. And that makes the one scene we saw a little less fun. Yeah, it's mostly awful. A lot less fun. It's all awful. Okay. Right, I'm gonna jump into the chat. <laughs> okay. You might have to bump me back up to admin. Maybe. Can't learn the Zogs. You guys still here? Yeah. Um, maybe, the whole, cr <laughs> the whole of uh, the Blazing Hawks are here. Did I just go backwards? Balls. Okay. Where am I supposed to be? Reach. Wait, what do you mean reach? How can I physically reach it when I'm not there? Uh. Pyro's officially a little confused. Fuck you. Fuck you. Camera to camera, camera to camera. Shut up, dude. Okay, I bet you I see what's going on here. There's a guy who's walking this way with a mobile camera. Or a hidden camera, whatever. Yep, there he is. Yeah, I don't have admin. So I need to just wa let him walk over there. And you will have admin shortly. Yay. That's weird. And there. The IP address is coming from that room. There's a card reader on it. Shit. No more train wreck. Keys hidden in his dog tag. Listen, ain't nobody stole from you, boy. Get your boss on the phone. Yeah, it'll take a few. It'll fucking take a few. Is that a rack? What are you doing with that? I thought I told you I just thought that you this shit won't fly. That is a rack. You remember grandma's poor dog? That ugly little fox. Fat head. <laughs> always came running when you hollered for him, right? <laughs> but I always kept pissing on the floor too. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, you you don't. Listen. It cost me business. Who do you think's gonna win between you and business? Yeah, I'm Mr. Quinzon speaker. Business. Quinn. I put you in charge of merchandise and security. I apparently can't make you an ad because the switch is going on me. I won't be fleeced, Mr. Rank. Yo, chill. It ain't how it went down. See, I think you're confused. This is a business collaboration. Your guests are my guests. Listen, we're the other <laughs> side of the office. <laughs> Weasel. <laughs> oh, shit. Ow. Yeah, the video isn't loading for me either. That's not good. 
It's not loading for me either. see how you could get on the compound. Never mind near that room. Even the security locks on the doors are encrypted. That fat kid, Bedbud. Twitch is probably super Just overloaded like at this point. And why should he help us? I'm betting he's one mistake away from a bullet to the head. So when he makes that mistake, I'll be recording. Nothing like blackmail to change someone's tune. Seriously, Aiden? You expect me to believe that? I'm your sister. Well, shouldn't my sister be cutting me a little slack? Really? Oh, because I'm being held by your friend and you need a little slack. Well, it sounds worse when you say it like that. Aw, have I hurt your feelings? I forget what a sensitive boy you are. You know me. Heart on my sleeve. Fun's over, kids. I hope your plan's a good one. Nikki does too. Oh, there's more crap I can hack over here. More videos. Or it's more people having sex again. Could you handle your pizza slices? Oh, you are very comfortable. I'm sorry. I'm fine. I'm gonna move the mic. Go ahead and. Come on! I'm trying to sleep off here, here, morons! Shut the fuck up! Sh shut up! That was... I don't think any of the fans had heard your noises before. Just, I was gonna say, just toss one on a plate for me and hand me the plate. Oh, uh, look or at the whore in apartment That's mine too. Nice tits. They look like stones trapped in soggy paper bags. What? Uh, apartment F. So queer. Oh, this asshole's a peeping Tom. That hit it. Oh, and of course, apartment M. So you're a drug dealer now, huh? Can't wait for some crackheads to slit your throat and rape your corpse. <laughs> oh, time for a new diaper. Yeah. What the fuck indeed? There is a lot of sex-related stuff in these videos. I wonder if I can even... I wonder if I can... That's creepy as fuck. I wonder if these videos would exist if we didn't vilify sex as much as our society does. Yeah, think about that. 
Why is he doing that? He's an assassin, Dad. Naha! Well, I mean, why is he talking to the guy he just killed? Assassin's Creed reference. It's a confession? Well, that, that's just dumb. Dad, please. You're ruining it. <laughs> It's a 17-year-old kid playing Assassin's Creed. It's after you assassinate someone, you have the confession saying. That was adorable. So, if that is canon, then Assassin's Creed and Watch Dogs exist in separate universes, but Assassin's Creed is a game within the Watch Dogs universe. That's amazing. <laughs> Alright, what is this dude doing? Did he just pick up an arm? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh yeah, crap, sorry. Okay, yeah. Oh god! He stole some dude's arm. Gross. Um, turn my mic off again. Hang on. Oh, that's off. fucking disgusting. Go ahead and turn my mic off again. I'm having a bit of trouble. With it. <sighs> the video showed a guy who had an arm, and he chopped the arm's fingers off and then ate them. That's some fucked up bullshit. This is amazing. And I also feel awful that I'm spying on everyone's personal lives, although not really. In <laughs> that is true. Oh, pizza boxes. Stack of boxes. Oh, I'm a Roomba! Cool! The Roomba has a camera in it. What is that from? American beer keg? Oh. Okay, you're on. Yay! Unregistered pet. Oh, the birdie attacked the Roomba. That's adorable. Well, that was a trip down some horrible lanes. At least we ended on a high note. Okay. So after all that... Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's continue with the mission. There are a lot of things we still haven't done yet. Or explored yet. This is a very, very big game. Uh, digital trips are underground city experiences for the more experimental types. Wait, what? Okay. Let's do a digital trip. Also, let's fast travel close to it. Wait, why is fast travel unavailable? That's weird. <sighs> well, I guess we're leaving first. In America, there are no actual laws against cannibalism? Yeah, but there are laws against murdering people, and that's your primary source for your people meat, so... In a roundabout way, it's illegal. That's interesting. Now I'm curious if that's true. Oh, but the dissection of a corpse is illegal. That's... No, no, it's not. <laughs> corpse dissection is so not illegal. Otherwise, everybody in the morgue at Wright State would be arrested. Well, it could be illegal if... Without permission, I imagine yeah. it's illegal. Like... Because I know there is such a thing called desecration of a corpse, and I believe that yeah. is illegal. And desecration can mean anything. But, well, I mean, also, I mean, if you're going that macro, it's illegal to cut somebody, but if you're a doctor, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's all context. That's why... <laughs> 
Oh, good. Here I go again, blathering about something uh, relatively serious. God, all, all I'm gonna for say... some reason, my brain just sent me into this episode of, I think it was Special Victims Unit, where this Oops. guy was screwing corpses, and he called it cracking open a cold one. Oh, God. All, uh, all I was going to say just is... Just when you thought it couldn't get darker. In debates, I've had people who have told me before that, like, when you... A thing, a point, and it doesn't matter what it is, but a point is always true or never true. Like, it's always an extreme. There is no wiggle room. My counter to that is context is everything. Exactly. Because any action can be bad or good. You have to have context to frame it correctly. Like, murder. Just shooting a dude in the face? Probably bad. But in the context of If that guy a, was gonna kill you? Exactly. Or in the context of a war, or... You know, he's, he's threatening somebody, whatever. Context is everything. It was always context. Hey guys, speaking of cracking up in a cold one. <laughs> By the way, everyone, that, that was a soda bottle, not a human corpse. Oh no, a human corpse would sound fucking terrible if I cracked it open. Holy shit. All right, we need to get up there. I probably have to get up there via the train tracks. That means that is going to be one hell of a walk, unless... Ah. Now we're talking. This is an open area. <coughs> yeah, it's a soda. I'm not old enough to drink beer. Even though there's beer in the fridge, and Pyro probably won't have a problem with me drinking it. I don't give a shit. I'm the sure only thing... you had designs on drinking that beer, but... Why is there a car on the roof? Why is there a car on the roof? Why are there cars on the roof? Um, I bet you this is a car elevator? Car elevator. Car elevator. Um, officially, I would never condone underage drinking. Um, unofficially, <laughs> there's beer in the fridge that I can easily access. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've technically had underage drinkers <laughs> in the apartment before anyway. Those it's, underage drinkers were me. Well, it's Levi, actually. And Levi. Um, but it's one of those things where, like, like, okay, the one time that you were with me and mentioned that you wanted to go into a bar, that I stopped because that just, that is super illegal, and you would be, like, since they card, I mean, you wouldn't have been able to get away yeah. with it. But with, uh, oh, okay. Sweet. Um... With uh, underage drinking, or even when you decide to drink, because didn't you say on your 21st you want to drink or whatever? I just want you to do it carefully, because that's, you know, that's what everyone always talks about. Just, you know, do it carefully. Don't binge on vodka and rum. Just, you know, if you want to drink, drink. But I'd prefer you to do it here. That way, if you do get sick, you know, you don't drink, have to go very drink. far. Don't want no juice. No juice, a splash of grape drink in my gray goose. Help me get looser. I'm going to record you on my camera phone doing that one day. <clears throat> are, are you oh, yeah, guys. the little dance um, I do when I sing it, too? Well, I was going to detail it. Well, I'll detail it to the fans, too. Okay, so the other day, the Akamura started singing that song, and she had her hair up in a towel, and the lights were off in the living room other than the light coming from her laptop monitor which illuminated her face in such a way that it accented her, the angles of her face. It was fucking adorable. And she was doing a little sideways dance while giving me a sideways glance at the camera. If I ever have an opportunity to record something like that, you guys are going <laughs> to benefit. Because what I'm going to do, for those of you fans who are super close to me... I might make some special ridiculous videos like that and keep them unlisted and then send you guys the link. Uh, because I know that Kayla especially would have liked to see you doing that dance with that lighting. He would have thoroughly enjoyed it. Don't send it to Kalo. I'm He'll sending it to Kalo. He'll send it around. <laughs> we can trust Kalo. I don't trust Kalo. Uh, you know why I don't trust Kalo? Why don't you trust Kalo? Kalo knows why I don't trust Kalo. 